Hi everyone, I'm Modern Mulan. In this video, we'll be covering Pirates World. So for this one, papakita ko sa inyo kung ano yung mga kailangan yung malaman and then how to mint yung kanilang mga NFTs. Specifically, yung pirates and yung ships nila. Papakita rin natin yung fleet at saka yung marketplace na available sa kanila. So if you want to learn more, you know what to do. Click that like button, subscribe, and keep on watching. Alright, so wag natin pahabain pa. Punta na tayo sa kanilang white paper. So ito, um, nakalink po ito sa ating description box. Lahat ng babanggitin natin, even their socials, nakalagay na lahat yan sa baba para hindi na kayo mahirapang mag-research after watching this video. For Pirates World, ang goal natin dito ay makahanap ng kanilang mga treasure. Of course, as Pirates, diba ito naman talaga hinahanap nila. So you'll need two things para makapag-start na na-mention natin earlier. So we need your Pirates at saka yung NFT ships. Ngayon, yung ginagamit natin dito is yung or Gold Token natin. So we'll talk more about this maya-maya. Iko-cover din natin Yan. And then, the other things na you need to know is, kagaya ng sa ibang NFTs natin, so we also have rarities for this one. So we have 1 star hanggang 5 star na ships. And then, yung difference in rarity ng mga yan is kung ilang pirates yung kaya nilang i-hold or i-load, kung ilan yung makakasakay sa kanila. Aside doon, so meron din tayong tinatawag na PP or plunder power. So, per rarity, syempre, pataas ng pataas din yung plunder power ng mga to. For 1 star, we have between 1 to 50 na plunder power. 2 star, 500 to 100. Ayan. With the 5 star na may pinakamataas na 200 to 250 looting power, of course. So, in addition, for each exploration by the ocean, each pirate must have a contract that is paid in our gold and will last for 7 days. So, isa to sa kanilang magiging burning mechanism then So, this is also important to take note na bago ka makapaglaro nito, aside from the ships and yung pirates mo, you also need our gold. So, magbabayad ka and then ayun nga, usable yun for 7 days. Another thing to take note is that meron silang tinatawag na kraken attack. So, they explained this sa kanilang AMA uh, wherein yung kraken attack is that merong lifespan bawat ships natin. Nilagay nila to para may expiration yung mga NFTs natin at mag-reinvest yung mga investors dito. So, ayan. So, for the rewards, rewards will be given to players for resources plundered or yung mga makukuha natin resources sa mga islands. And then, magiging depende yung rewards sa, ano natin, syempre, sa mga pirates natin, number of pirates, and yung pipiliin natin na island. So, later on, I will also be showing you a sneak peek or ano ba yung itsura ng mga islands nila. So, stay tuned. We also have here an early withdrawal fee. So, if you've been in the NFT space for quite a while and you've tried other games, you're familiar with this one. So, para sa ganito, um, meron tayong 30% early withdrawal fee. Slightly higher or very much higher pala compared sa mga iba. Diba? Usually, mga 15% lang yung early withdrawal. But for this, doble siya. So, 30% early withdrawal fee bago mo maklaim yung R gold ninyo. So, this fee will be reduced by 2% um, once you go sa first expiration of the day and so on and so forth hanggang bumaba yung, ano natin, yung withdrawal fee. These are usually in place para hindi agad madump yung token. Ayan. So, let me know in the comment section kung gusto nyo ba yung merong mga ganitong klase Parang may mga pumipigil sa inyo na mag-withdraw or mag-take profit right away. So, yan. Comment kayo what you think about these. Ako, personally, gusto ko yung mga ganito. Alright. So, now let's cover yung ships and pirates. We've mentioned na kanina, you already know yung rarity nila and yung importance ng rarity. So, to give you an idea, meron tayong lima na klase ng ships at the moment. So, we have yung Flying Dutchman. Ayan. So, dito sa white paper nila, ito yung rarity, number of pirates um, that they can carry per ship. And then, meron silang parang background story dito and what the NFTs will look like. So, yan sila, Flying Dutchman, Queen Anne's Revenge, Royal Rover, Rising Sun, and The Fancy. So, if you want to read more about these in detail, I will leave it up to you. Again, nakalink po ito sa ating description box. So, for pirates, there are also five rarities. So, let's talk about the highest one first. Ito siya. So, five rarity. Ayan, tapos meron lang din silang storyline. So, ito yung itsura niya. Ito naman, yung pirate with fourth rarity. Ayan. Yan. Master at Arms without equal, uh, Rarity 2, and then Rarity 1. So, if you want to read more again about yung story nila, hindi na natin ko-cover yan dito. Kayo nang bahala magbasa dyan. Ngayong alam na natin na kailangan natin ng ships and pirates to start. 
paano ba tayo makakakuha ng pirates and ships? So, there are two options to choose from. One, you can mint them. Or two, you can buy sa marketplace. And alam nyo na yung pros and cons sa mga ganito. But let me cover them very briefly. So, kapag nag-mint tayo, random sila. At maganda yung randomizer nila dito. They made sure na equal talaga yung chance to get a certain rarity. Pag nag-mint tayo, hindi natin alam kung ano yung makukuha natin. So, kumbaga parang swertihan lang din, ba? Diba? Pero kapag sa marketplace naman, makakapili ka kung ano yung gusto mo na plunder power, kung anong rarity, ganyan. Kaya lang, ang difference nila will be at the price point. So, minting generally is uh, much cheaper kapag naman marketplace. So, syempre, varying yung prices. So, nakakapili ka pa rin. But of course, dahil nga known na ako na yung makukuha mo, you'll expect or you can expect na medyo mas mataas yung presyo nila, syempre. So, if we open up yung kanilang marketplace, this is what we can expect. Ayan, ganito yung magiging itsura niya, yung homepage. And then, yung na-mention nating islands earlier, dito sila pumapasok. So, click natin. So, eto yung mga islands. This is Island 1, 3 auroras, at yung required PP or plunder power. And then, yung mga PP na ito nakukuha natin dun sa NFT mismo, okay? And then, base success, kumbaga eto yung win rate. And then, yung R gold token na kakailanganin natin or babayaran natin para makapag um, treasure hunt tayo dito. So, this is Island 1. We also have Island 2, Vella Vinya. Ayan, so iba-iba nga sila na required PP at saka win rate or base success. Island 3, La Saldera. Ayan po. Island 4, uh, Land of Khan. Yan. And then, the fifth one is Taimal. So, pataas sila ng pataas. Meaning, we can also expect, kapag higher the requirement, diba? So, uh, mas mataas din yung rewards for this one. We also have a sixth island. So, itong Krill and Lear. Bretar for Island 7. Bozo for Island 8. We have Fritz for 9. 10 for Zoilet. 11, Calyonte. you get the idea. So, yan. Marami tayong pwedeng pagpilian. And then, the higher island you go or the higher the number of island you go, pataas na pataas din yung required PP at pababa na pababa yung chances of winning or yung win rate based success natin. So, yan. Tapos, pataas din pataas yung our good na kakailanganin natin. Now, if you scroll over dito sa same page natin, makikita nyo yung current plunder power nyo at saka yung max number of islands na pwede nyo i-access. Ito rin yung inyong win rate and then yung history ng mga battles ninyo or mga treasure hunting will be showed here. So, now let me show you kung paano muna makabili ng mga kailangan natin na NFTs. So, dito muna tayo sa my contract. And then, what you do is click accept contract. Confirm nyo yung transaction fee and then wait for it. Tapos, um, pwede na kayong bumili ng mga NFTs na to. So, yan. And then, you do the same thing for Pirates contract. So, basically, ganun lang siya. After that, ayan, lalabas na contract accepted. And then, you can proceed to buy na yung mga uh, kailangan nga natin. Okay, now, let's talk about how to mint yung mga, ano natin, mga NFT. So, sa left side, meron nga tayong My Ships. And then, you'll see dito yung ship inventory, public sale, private sale. And then, sa upper natin, makikita nyo yung mint ship. So, just click that one and then confirm yung transaction fee. Tapos, you wait a while. So, sometimes it takes a few minutes uh, bago lumabas yung na-mint natin. And then, ayan, lumabas na siya. So, we had the fancy. So, yan. Uh, that's one way to mint yung mga ships natin. Now, let's talk about minting yung pirate. So, basically, same process. Uh, click mint pirate. Approve natin yung kanilang... Um, transaction fee or yung gas fee na we have to buy. Tapos, lalabas din siya. So, for pirate, makikita natin yung plunder power for this one. So, hintay lang tayo. Ito, makikita mo na yung ano. 28 PP. Ayan. Ship, pirates, check. Now, tignan naman natin yung my fleets. Now, for this, kailangan natin i-create yung fleet. Ayan. So, you have to build the fleet. There's a quick introduction lang for this one. So, you can read it on your own. And then, the next one. So, click next. Tapos, makikita natin, select ship. So, select the ship that you own. So, for the next one, pipiliin naman natin yung mga ibuboard natin na pirates. So, as you know, depende sa rarity ng inyong ship kung ilan ding pirates yung pwede nyo i-board. So, ayan. Let's just click this one, the one we have. And then, click next. Tapos, you can just proceed to name your fleet. So, depende sa inyo kung anong gusto nyo ipangalan dyan. Ayan. So, let's just uh, name this one na pang-sample natin na 
powerful fleet. There we go. So after that, makikita nyo na yung ginawa nating fleet dito sa ating inventory. So ayan, ganyan yung magiging itsura niya. And then yung plunder power niya, tapos nasa baba yung ship, pirates, etc. All other information uh, you can visibly see dito sa page na to. Now, as I've mentioned, meron tayong mga NFT life dito. So, papakita ko yung sample. So, for the pirate, kapag kinlik natin siya, so, makikita nyo dito NFT life niya, 150 over 150. So, ayan lang yung number of uses na pwede natin sa kanya. So, again, this is used para ma-encourage yung mga users na mag-reinvest ulit ng kanilang kita. ba So, you can also choose to delete yung inyong ano, mga NFT. So, dito sa may left side, we can see sell. Just enter the amount na gusto nyo siyang ibenta. And then, you can choose kung gusto nyo ibenta in private or public. So, you may easily do that. So, halimbawa, gusto natin in public. Just click that one. Wait for a while. Tapos, ma-upload na siya or malalagay na siya, malilist na sa ating marketplace. Yan. So, you'll see transaction success. And then, um, let's just go back and show you dito sa Pirates for Public Sale tab nandun na yung binibenta natin. So the same thing goes for our ship. So let me just show you that one. So ganun din, click lang natin yung NFT. Ayan, NFT Live, pwede nyo i-delete. And then you can also opt to sell dito sa upper right. Click that one. So let's pause this for a minute for gifting. Ang mangyayari is you will just be putting yung ano yung address kung kanino mo gustong ibigay yung NFT. Yung sale process very much the same. So ilalagay natin 4000 and then just sell to public or sell in public. Tapos punta ka ulit sa ano sa inventory mo and then pwede mo makita under ships for public sale. Ayan. So you see your uh, uh, NFT there. So basically, ganun lang yung kanilang uh, minting and marketplace. Kung sa marketplace naman kayo bibili, as you've seen, meron namang mga filters then no? So you can choose kung under pirates or ships kayo bibili. And then, let's go back muna sa kanilang white paper and talk about yung kanilang token. So we've mentioned our gold a couple of times. So available to sa Binance Smart Chain. This is listed already. You can buy this sa buy swap. Eto, so ililink ko na lang siya sa ating description box and let's check kung magkano ba yung isang Argold token as we're recording this. So right now, so as we're recording this on February 2022, one Argold token is 2.17 USDT or 100 pesos. So ayan yung kanyang current value. And then balik na tayo sa kanilang token. Ito yung contract address nila. We'll just be putting this sa ating description box uh, para hindi kayo uh, ma-scam or to make sure na tama yung mabili nyo na our gold token. So, our gold stands for Royal Gold. At yung native currency for Pirates World players will use our gold. Yung nga sa minting natin ng Pirates ships and then yung pag-extend din ng lives ng Pirates. You can also use this and of course you can also use this sa buying and selling sa ating marketplace. So, yung maximum supply nila is 5 million our gold tokens. Liquidity will be locked. Development fund will be vested at the rate of 25% per month. So, ito yung kanilang token distribution, no? Kung saan ba napupunta yung total token supply na yon. So, gameplay incentives, 30%, locked until January 1. So, by this time, naka-unlock na to. Ayan. So, may detailed breakdown din kung saan mapupunta. Gameplay features, 4%. Uh, liquidity, locked for one year, 17%. Development, 20%. Ayan. Marketing, 3%. Private sale, 5%. Public, 20%. Airdrop is 1%. Now, for the initial liquidity offering nila, ito yung kanilang details. So, if you guys want to read more about this one, yung token information nila, and you really want to absorb it, I encourage you to read through their white paper. Now, what can we expect in the future for Pirates World? So, ito yung kanilang roadmap. Uh, it's good na naka-check silang ganito. You know, I like checklists. Um, so right now, nandito sila sa beta release. So mint, play and earn, tsaka yung marketplace sila. Game release then expected for the first quarter of 2022. Influencer marketing, Pirates World Museum, launch the sandbox metaverse. Oh, that's exciting. We also have an expansion of the development team for the first quarter of 
2022 and yung fleet system nila. Pirates World 2.0 will start sa second quarter of 2022. So meron tayong Guild Wars, Kraken Games which are yung mini games sila listing on new exchanges, Royal Gold uh, Game Five Store merchandise and then for Pirates World 3.0 so magkakaroon ng our gold and NFTs cross chain. So I know many of you like it kapag merong cross chain yung ating mga NFTs kasi marami tayong options. So may Kraken cross chain then bridge to send our gold and NFTs to another blockchain. So 4.0 naman you can expect payment integration with our gold and new use cases. So very important to no. So I'm interested to know kung anong mga new use cases ang ilalagay nila. Kung may ano kayo may speculation of what you think yung mga use cases na i-add nila, let me know in the comment section. So, sa tingin ko magkakaroon ng parang fusion system eventually para ma-upgrade mo. Halimbawa, yung rare one and rare one NFTs mo, yung dalawa, if of use mo, then pwede mo yung rare two. Tapos magbabayad ka na Argold. I think lang. Feeling ko lang. And then, um, magkakaroon din sila ng Unity app again sa fourth quarter of 2022. So, if you're wondering then kung audited na sila and naka-KYC na. If you're wondering kung ano yung KYC, it's know your customer. Ibig sabihin, there are docs sa uh, isang specific na institution so nagpakalala sila ayan so nandito po yung kanilang mga certificate ito yung smart contract solid proof certificate and yung kanilang KYC so silipin natin again if you want to read through this pwede naman po walang pipigil sa inyo no uh, actually it is encouraged if you want to invest in this one so nasa white paper po ito ito yung kanilang audit certificate of compliance sa RG token and then yung KYC nila so yan so right now that's everything you need to know about Pirates World. Kung meron tayo updates upon uploading this video, ilalagay ko rin yun sa ating description box. And again, nakalink naman po yung kanilang social media accounts if you want to be a part of their community and kung gusto nyo maging updated pa sa magiging developments nila or kung gusto nyo participate sa airdrops kasi remember, meron silang 1% na allocated for airdrops. So kung meron din silang mga giveaway, of course, sa social media nila, makikita yung mga yon. So I also have my social media accounts listed sa ating description box. You can say hi on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and even on our official Discord group. So, nasa description box po lahat ng yan, and I hope to see you on our other socials as well. Now, if you want to keep learning about other crypto-related projects, meron tayong videos on trading, other play to earn games, and other crypto-related or crypto-integrated projects. Para mapadali yung buhay ninyo, pumili na tayo ng two videos that I think you'll really love and enjoy. So, pili na lang kayo sa mga nasa screen natin ngayon. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Sana makakwentuhan ko kayo sa ating comment section. And I hope to see you on our next videos. Bye!